I'm proud to introduce my friend Tim Elmore, who will be delivering today's word. I work side by side with Tim more than two decades, and I can promise you that he is someone you want to learn from. Tim went on to found Growing Leaders, and today we are excited to have him as a Maxwell Leadership Thought Leader. He has spoken to more than half a million leaders in business and schools around the world and has written 37 books. So he's ready to give you his wisdom today. Hey, thank you, John. This is Tim Elmore, and I'm very excited to talk to you about the word today. It's one of my favorite words. It's the word mentor. Um, I have loved mentoring other people through my 43 or 44 years of my career, but my first and foremost mentor in my life 40 years ago was John Maxwell himself. He asked me to join his staff right after I graduated from college. I did not know what I was doing, but he saw lots of passion in me, and he groomed me and cultivated me. And I watched his mentoring in my life turn into incredible, not just wise counsel, but great example. I'll never forget one trip John and I took. We had our wives with us, so John and Margaret, Pam and I, were in another city. We did an event together, and then we found ourselves at a shopping mall afterwards, just just relaxing. And everybody in the group, all three of the others, said, Tim, you need to get a new suit. You're wearing old suits, you need to get a new suit. Well, I never see that I need new clothes. So I said, all right, I'll buy it. Uh, And I literally had to buy it. So, So we're all shopping for me, but you know, I've got to fork out the money. Well, they all picked a very, very expensive suit, one that I would have never purchased had I been my opinion, but it was a very nice suit. When I got the suit, all three of them kind of gang up on me and say, now you need to get a matching tie. I said, I do not have the money to get a matching tie. There is no way. I've already spent my wad just getting this suit. Well, they all kind of, you know, it's turning into a joke, but they all say, you ought to get a tie. You ought to get a tie. You don't have a tie that matches. And I said, well, there's two that mat- that that work, but I am not buying it right now. I'll get it later. So I make the purchase. We all walk out and we start walking down the mall hallway. And we notice about five minutes later, John's not with us. And we're going, where's John? Where's John? We see him walking up to us. He has a bag in his hand and he hands me the bag. And inside of it were the two ties that matched the suit. That's how John has treated me for four decades. His generosity, his mentorship, He has modeled as well as he has taught and instructed, and he has instructed well. But I just want to encourage you, sure you need mentors in your life, but maybe it's time for you to step up and mentor someone else. Thank you, John. 